hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be walking you guys through my art process i'm gonna be using a reference today so i'm just gonna kind of explain my thought process um, when working with reference and yeah let's get to it so I mentioned in my last video that I think reference is a really good way to work on improving your art. I also think there's a couple different ways you can use reference. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using this reference more so as inspiration, not necessarily trying to copy it exactly because I want the character to be kind of in my own style. So I'm not really trying to create a realistic version. I really just want to take bits and pieces of the reference and use it to create an illustration. So you can see right now I'm just, I've finished my initial sketch and now I'm gonna go in and start working on some more defined lines. And you'll see I'm really trying to simplify shapes where I can. Uh, you'll see this a lot with the hair here in a second. I'm really trying to simplify it and also add movement to the hair. This just helps give the illustration a little bit more life and a little bit more flow. That's one of the cool things about drawing from reference is we can look at a real life photograph and try to find ways to make it look more visually appealing. So I'm going to keep working on working on this piece for a little bit and then I'll check back with you guys in a minute. happy with the lines that I've created. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna start basically shading in um, where the values are gonna go. And for this stage, it's pretty important to know kind of where your light source is gonna be. Now in the reference, there's really not a strong light source. So I'm gonna kind of wing it and just create my own light source. In this instance, I'm just gonna assume that it's um, because she's outside that we're gonna have a light source coming from up above and that's how I'm gonna be treating it as I'm shading. So now what I'm going to do is merge everything onto one layer and I'm going to set this layer to multiply and then I'm also going to take the curves tool and I'm going to make all of the lines a little bit more red. I just do this because once I start coloring, I'll be coloring under the line art and it's going to help it create some more vibrant colors and make the piece a little more interesting. So as I'm adding colors to this illustration, you'll notice that I start to choose colors that aren't necessarily in the reference photo. And especially like with the hair, I choose a cool color for the hair and then I choose a warm color for the highlight. This is a stylistic choice and I'm doing it to add contrast to the illustration. So even though I don't necessarily see that in the reference photo. It's a choice that I'm intentionally making to try to make the illustration more vibrant.
kind of reached a point in the illustration where I'm pretty much just adding extra details. So for example, I added a rim light to the left side of the character and I've also added a little bit of snow. For this, I just used a brush. Don't exactly remember where I got it. If I do find it, I'll be sure to link it down below, but a lot of what I'm doing now is just kind of small details. Um, and then I'll also start to render the character. So eventually I will move everything onto one layer and then I'll work on top of that layer. gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!